Teed recording spot. Except y'all mainly see the road behind me, but <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all how I plan my baby shower. That's what this whole video is. Cause if y'all are planning one, you don't know even where to start. This is how you start. I Googled baby shower, baby shower ideas. I had seen like one thing for like a Winnie the Pooh baby shower. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. And so then I was like, well, that'll be the theme. When planning a baby shower, a theme makes it so much easier. If you'd like, you can base your food around it, your snacks, whatever you can base all your decorations around it. It just, it's like a good starting point. First things first, where are we having this? Cause it can't happen in my house. I live in apartments, but it also needs to be nearby and local because I want as many people that can come to come. I'm be honest, we did not go the cheap route. I started looking up like Airbnbs cause I'm like, okay, well what if I just rented a house for the night and had it in someone's backyard? Well, then I was like, all right, let me have it at my local park. My local park would have been very much cheaper not gonna lie my local park a little ghetto it's a little small we're trying to host 50 people here the the concrete is crumbling apart you know and i just really didn't want to host it there 50 people on four little picnic tables not gonna work let me look at other local parks and i found this one and i'm like shoot i've been to this park before now this shelter is huge it can house i think it said like 200 to 300 people it is huge it is way bigger than what we needed but the concrete finish was perfect. There's a park near it. There's the bathrooms right next to it, which me, a pregnant lady needs. It ended up being like $200. Also, it's gonna rain that day, but it's got a huge roof over it. And it's, I'm telling you, it is so nice and so big. Okay, so we got the place out of the way. So now it's time to decorate. And I just looked up, you know, Winnie the Pooh baby shower DIYs, bought a lot of stuff from Dollar Tree, made stuff put it together and I'll insert some clips here so you can see some of the stuff I did. So I wanna show you guys everything that I bought for the baby shower so far. This is one of the games. Oh, I'm doing the Winnie the Pooh theme. So that's why I did the honeycombs and it's like, guess how many are in there? And then they win a prize and I'll get to the prizes in a second. These, these, I'm gonna insert a little picture so you can get my vision. I'm gonna put the utensils in and I got the two paints for it. Then I got six of these little baby bottles from the Dollar Tree. And that is because one of the games, they are gonna have to uh, chug. I don't know if I'm gonna do smoothies so that it's like more difficult to chug or if I'll just do like a nasty drink. I bought two packs of these, um, these little diapers. I think they were like five, six dollars each. I've already rolled up all the diapers because one of the games is going to be a diaper toss. Um, and then these are the bins where I got two of these. Um, so we'll probably have like a total of 10 players, but like two at a time tossing. They'll be blindfolded and they got to toss in as many diapers as they can. I got the tablecloth. I've got two packs of plates and napkins. One blue and one pink. Nobody knows the gender at the baby shower yet. I got these for the cupcake holders. But I don't think I'm gonna use the black ones. I think I'm just gonna use the brown and the white ones. I got these to fill up with ranch because I'm gonna have like a little vegetable tray. I got these, six of them, because um, one of the games people would divide up in teams and then I'll play songs with the word baby in it and people gotta guess the name of the song. But I figured it'd come in handy too because then like when we play other games, we can keep up with like the scoreboard with those. I just got some cake mixes. I got two yellows and then, um, one chocolate so the prizes are gonna be darts because like i said nobody knows the gender yet and so what's gonna happen is whoever won will get a dart and then at the end i'll have a poster board well really a canvas with balloons in it with different colors well not different colors they'd be blue or pink one will be seven of the bright color and then one will be five of and then everybody will take turns throwing their darts so there's a total of 12 darts to be one i'll put a second layer of paint on these and then I'll show those in a second. We made the centerpieces for the table. And then we made these to put how did I already get dirty? To put on each table. That's for the food. This is for the gifts. That's for one of the games. And I don't know, I guess this will just sit somewhere. Now also my mom helped out and she went on Amazon and bought some pre-made things, which you should see in some clips. This is more baby shower stuff. Little honey jars that are like, what? Is this octagon? That's a hexagon. 
came with these little bags to go in and these and then it came with thank you for being here and these little bees and it came with this little twine to tie it all around this is a triangle banner i'm not gonna pull it all out it's like a banner it's got different quotes of poo on there and then we got these let me open it actually Okay, so this is what they look like. I guess you can either write your own. I haven't seen one. The winner is supposed to get a poopy diaper, aren't they? We just might write win on whatever because we got blank ones. But we have to put the scratch-off stickers on it. That's weird. Yeah, that's, that's strange. But like I told Mom, I guess it's so they don't accidentally get scratched in packaging or shipping. And then we got this. If you give me two, you still will have to eat it. Not me. Yeah, you might. Yeah, that's really big. I can pretty much see it. That's so good. What is it? God, this thing is ginormous. This will be cute to take pictures in front of, though. What is that? I got my honey. Got a big old one. And then this one. And we're about to fill all of these up. So after we got all the decorating and stuff done, because that took like a majority of the time and the money which i think i have invested way too much money into this baby shower which is also a gender reveal which i think i talk about in some of the clips let's back it up actually i had to think about what time i was going to be doing it when we picked out the place we kind of picked out the day because we had to figure out what days it was available and everything so we picked out the day like that and time wise i just decided i'm gonna do it around lunch time which maybe isn't the best maybe i would recommend like after lunch but I did like a 12 to 3 because I am going to be serving food and I decided let's do it the easy route. I decided not to base any of the foods on like the um, theme, you know, because I've seen like pictures where it'll be like Tigger's Tails and it's like pretzels dipped in orange chocolate with stripes and stuff. I was not going to do all that. I decided to have cupcakes instead of cake because I don't want the whole like cutting the cake like birthday idea i decided to do hot dogs because there's the grill at the park and then i'm just gonna get a veggie tray like you know you get at the grocery store in the deli area the veggie tray the cheese and cracker tray and then a fruit tray what was i saying oh my god baby brain is such a fucking menace oh goodness gracious what in the hell was i talking about y'all someone please help me i cannot think oh my god what was i talking about i <laughs> <laughs> it's gone i have no clue what i was talking about i'm literally about to just give up i watched my video back i gave in i watched it back so i could figure out what the hell i was talking about it is raining so hard y'all next things next was the invitations that's what i'm trying to say yay we did it so i've seen a lot of printouts invitations winnie the pooh whatever but i was like girl come on let me get on pages you know the little apple app and I can make this myself. And I did. And I did a really good job. Y'all, I can't see. Oh my God, I'm so terrified to drive right now. And then what I did, oh my gosh, smartest thing ever. Well, okay, hold on. I'll get to the smartest thing ever. Smartest, smart thing was making a baby registry. Yes, people, make your baby registries because it's a baby shower. Set it up with Walmart, did my thing. Can't tell you about that. I don't, I've only done it with Walmart. My first one. Put everything I needed on there. That took like three or four days in itself to just like go through Walmart, scan everything I needed, added things from the website that weren't in store, things like that. And then what I did is I went online and just wrote QR code maker and I printed out that QR code that it made me to link my baby registry to so I could put it on a little card with the invitations because I didn't do like a public one where you can search the name because y'all I don't got ops but I got a few nosy people in my family who might want to just I don't know be nosy it's not like they're gonna buy nothing for me but just be nosy I'm so fucking scared I want to get home so bad y'all it's like driving through a fucking a kiddie pool out here that's that's how i plan my baby shower the hardest parts was finding the place getting the time down making sure that i knew like it would work for everybody because i wanted a lot of people to show up getting the invitations set out y'all i sent them out probably a week later than i actually should have i was supposed to get them out like because we're having it at the end the very last day of april so I should have gotten them out like the end of March, but instead I like mailed them like the first or second of April, which 
I don't know. I think I should have gave more time. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to watch me dyeing my hair for the baby shower with black tea.